Hello, my name's Henry, and today I'm going to be going over how to rig up the Arri Alexa Mini for a drama shoot. Um, this camera is now 10 years old, but it is still an absolute beast. It features a Super 35 CMOS sensor, it shoots 3.2K and up to ProRes 4444XQ. It has 14 stops of dynamic range, motorized ND filters, and of course, it's part of the Arri family. So super reliable, great color science and build quality. I was originally intimidated by this camera, but there's really no need to be. All you need is an extra set of tools and some basic knowledge about where these wires go. There's a lot of wires that you might not recognize, but there's only really one place that each of them can go, so you can't really go wrong. Before we do anything, what I always like to do first is insert my media. The Alexa Mini takes these CFast cards. Um, I like to do this first because sometimes the card slot does actually get quite inaccessible um, once you add everything else around the camera. Slot that in there. Right, first thing to do is add the main support system, which is kind of around the lens um, for all our accessories to come this way, outwards. The only tool you need when rigging up an Arri is a 3mm Allen key. Um, they're really cheap, simple tool to use, but that's what's great about the Arri system. It uses all the same screws, so um, you don't have to go looking around for your tool belt every time you're setting this camera up. All right, we're going to attach the top plate first. Um, this is for the rails for the monitor to go on, so this goes at the front of the camera. And we're just going to line up these screws here. I really like this T-bar tool with the T-shape at the top. Um, I find it much easier to use than a normal Allen key. This dovetail plate on the top now has given us some extra mounting points um, for us to attach this side piece. Sometimes this gives me problems and the last screw doesn't quite go in, but we're looking pretty nice here. Right, that's our two side pieces mounted. Next thing I like to attach is this piece here for the monitor. Let's get that in roughly the right position. And then for the monitor itself, you lift this lever up and it should just slide in like so. This is our first cable, um, the easiest one. This is our EVF, which is our viewfinder. Um, and that goes into the matching yellow port here. You just line up the red pins, can't go wrong. That's now in there, nice and secure. Just to run you through the rest of the ports uh, at the back of the camera, we've got two SDI ports, um, a power in for a V-mount battery, which we're gonna attach in a minute. Um, and then if we wanted to run power from the wall, this is our external power port at the bottom. What's really annoying about this camera is as soon as the viewfinder's on, it's so side heavy. So when I'm rigging it up, I just like to rest it on its side when I can. To run power into the camera, we need these two rods. Um, I think these are 50 mil rods. Slide this in here. You're going to want to leave enough room at the front for the follow focus um, and enough room at the back for the battery. So I'm just going to leave it about there. Um, and then these are like ratchet screws on the bottom. This is our battery plate. Um, this is what the V-mount batteries go on. It's going to slide that on the back here. This particular one has loads of ports for if you ever want to power anything. Um, I like to leave a little bit of room for the fan just for the camera to breathe. Um, and also if you want to access the media, you want to leave a little gap like that. So I'm just going to tighten that in here. And that goes into the battery port that I mentioned earlier. Again, really easy. Just line up the red dot. Um, and now we've got power to the camera. Well, when we put the battery on. This charger is great. It charges all these batteries simultaneously. Um, so there's always one ready to go. And I'm just going to slot that on the back like any other V-mount. Um, I normally like to get uh, a bongo tie or something just to keep the cables um, neat up here. You can do this maybe. Next thing I want to do is add a monitor um, because as soon as this top handle's on, it makes it really hard to reach this top just because this dovetail plate um, is only like half the length of the camera. So I'm going to get a monitor um, and a magic arm. There are loads of mounting points on the top of the camera. Um, I'm just going to take my magic arm and pop it in one of these. Uh, and like I showed you in my FX6 video, you just want to get the monitor on top and then kind of fold the magic arm back over itself. That to me is super sturdy. Um, we can go the other way as well, but going to leave it there for now. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to mount the monitor to the camera right now because I want to run um, wireless video to an external monitor, but usually you'd have a monitor on the camera and then as many monitors as you needed for the director and the focus pillar. But just to show you the cable, we'd have our monitor mounted here um, and then just our SDI ports, same as the SDI on any other camera, um, and straight into the monitor up there. This is our Hollyland um, wireless video system. We've got a transmitter and a receiver, two SDI cables, um, and two magic arms and connect it to the one on the receiver. There we go. 
Next thing to do is get the camera onto the tripod. I've got this Arri quick release plate with the vintage tripod plate underneath. Um, and this triangle shape is pointing in the direction of the lens. We're then gonna make sure this is super tight. Right, that's not going anywhere. Then we're then gonna release this plate ready for the camera. The Arri quick release is really good. Um, you literally just line up this triangle shape on the bottom of the camera with the one on the tripod plate and it just clicks in like that. And now the camera is on a tripod and I can breathe. Next, I'm going to go over how to attach a PL mount lens to the Arri Alexa Mini. I've got the Zeiss CP2s with me today. This is a cinema lens, so it's got all the gearings you'd expect. So it's got an aperture ring here um, and also a focus wheel. And this is a PL mount lens, um, which looks like this. Arri has since released the LPL, um, but this is slightly older style. These CP2s are slightly older lens set, but they are full frame. Um, and I'll talk about that in a second because this is a Super 35 camera. Again, usually a two-man job. We're lining up these grooves with the camera body. Sometimes you need to give it a little wiggle. And then we're going to lock in the lens like this. And that's on there now. That's what I love about the PR mount. The lens is not going anywhere. The power button on the Arri is just hidden behind the battery plate here. And you have to hold it for like a second. And the camera should be on. Uh, the Arri takes ages to power on. So don't keep pressing the power button. You just got to be patient. Right, next we're going to add the follow focus onto the front of the camera. I'd usually use the Arri one, but it was booked out. So I've got the tilter, um, which has a D-tap port on the back, which goes into our battery. This just goes onto the front of the camera, touching the focus wheel here, straight onto the rods. The hang unit takes these like green tilter batteries and power it on with this one here. I'm gonna hold the focus unit on, on here and hit the calibrate button on the hang unit. Um, and you just gotta make sure there's a little bit of pressure while the unit finds the focus gears. And that should be all set up. So now we can wirelessly focus pull um, from wherever, which is obviously really handy when you're on a drama set. Um, don't have to have your hands on the lens at all. Um, and then for reference, the Arri WCU4 unit has its own power cable that comes out here, um, which you then attach just like this one. Um, and then you can daisy chain it to attach as many motors as you'd like. And that's actually powered through the camera itself. Um, but the nuclear system has external batteries. But yeah, that was a walkthrough of setting up the Arri Alexa Mini with all the accessories that you might need for a drama production.